everyone, my name is Taylor Spratt and this is my very first vlog in my bariatric journey series. Just to tell you a little bit about myself, I am a paranormal romance novelist from Jamaica and I am about to embark on the exciting journey of bariatric surgery. If you do not know what this is, bariatric surgery is basically weight loss surgery. It's not cosmetic surgery though, it's not. This is for health purposes. Um, I can tell you which different types there are. The most popular types are called the gastric band, gastric bypass and gastric sleeve. I think that the gastric band isn't so popular anymore. So right now, the more popular ones are the gastric sleeve and the gastric bypass. In the next video, I'll tell you which surgery I have decided to get. But first, I just wanted to start with a little introduction about myself and when I'll be doing surgery and why I want to do bariatric surgery. I have booked my surgery in Mexico two months from now so that will be in october right now why do i want bariatric surgery well there are quite a few reasons why but the main reason why is because i am obese maybe you can see Yes, so that's the situation. I am technically and clinically obese. I am five foot four inches and I weigh 280 pounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have been overweight my entire life from childhood. I've been overweight. I don't remember a single time when I was a normal weight. From the age of, I think, five, I've definitely been bigger than everybody else. As a child, my weight definitely made me suffer. I know that they say that what is on the outside is what counts, and I believe that. But that is not how I have been treated my entire life. If you have struggled with your weight, like, like I have, I think that you might be able to relate to what I'm saying. As a child, it was harder for me to make friends because of my weight, but it definitely got very bad in high school. I went to an all girls high school and throughout my entire time there, I had one friend. In the, in the later years, I got one or two friends more when I lost some weight. But in general, my weight was like a stigma. It, 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 it caused me to be stigmatized, ostracized. I guess many people didn't want to be friends with the fat girl. I don't know. You know, it's just what it was. And when I went to university, I lost a lot of weight. And I saw it as an opportunity to reinvent myself. I got so many more friends. I joined the, the, the pageant at my university. I was looking amazing, still on the bigger side, but I was looking amazing for me. And I was making so many friends and that was the happiest point in my life. But even though I lost all this weight in university, which was about maybe 60, 70 pounds, it all came back on and more and that's what tends to happen whenever I try to lose weight I lose a lot of weight and it comes right back on this is why I have decided to get bariatric surgery. If diet and exercise was enough, I would not be trying to get bariatric surgery. 
if it was enough, if I could keep the weight off without the bariatric surgery, I would not be, 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 be trying to do the surgery because hey, you know what? Surgery is expensive. It is scary because I've never had any surgery before, but I'm at my wit's end here. Okay, this is like my final chance to try and do something about my weight problem because you know what? I have joint problems. I have joint pain. I am 28 years old and I have joint pain. My back hurts, okay? My ankles hurt. My knees and my hips, they hurt because my body cannot support my size. And I know beauty comes in all sizes. I feel beautiful. I know I am beautiful, but I do not feel physically well. I do not feel physically comfortable. And quite often, I battle with anxiety and depression. A lot of it has to do with my weight. A lot of it has to do with my weight. I don't have the healthiest self-esteem. It's true. It's true. And if you have struggled with your weight for as long as I have, I think that you might be able to relate. I just want to feel good on the inside and on the outside. I don't like it that people, when they see me, all they see is somebody who is overweight. And I'm not saying that that's what my friends see. My friends love me. I have quite a few friends now. My friends love me, but I mean strangers. So to give you an example, just today, I was driving my car and I stopped at a red light and there was a man in a wheelchair begging for money and I felt sorry for him so I rolled down my window and I gave him some money and do you know what he said to me? He said to me that I should not gain any more weight and that I should not get any fatter than I already am because I am at the upper limit right now. If I gain any more weight, he would not think that I look good. Can you imagine? I'm, I am trying to help this guy out. I'm trying to give him some money to help himself out and he is calling me fat right to my face. You see, that is the kind of disregard that I don't think that people show thinner people. If I were thinner, I don't think that he would have felt that he could say something so rude right to my face. There is a certain level of disrespect that I feel comes with being more overweight because I've just noticed it. This, people feel like they can say whatever they want to say to you because you're overweight and you can just take it because you're overweight so you don't have any choice but to take it that's all mm -hmm. so yeah i'm getting bariatric surgery in mexico in two months and i have chosen a company called a slimmer me i'm going to put the link to their company in the description that you can see I chose them because I did quite a bit of research. I joined their Facebook group. They have a Facebook group with thousands of people in there. I asked them what their experience was like. They, this company had glowing reviews. Okay, it's in Tijuana, Mexico. So I'd be flying to San Diego and then they pick you up at the San Diego airport and drive you down to their facility. And the cost, I'll tell you the cost in the next video because the cost depends on the surgery, but I feel confident in going to this place. The people who went there have lost like 100, 200 pounds, depending on their previous weight. They're, the weight's been just falling off of them after they've done this surgery. People who have diabetes, their diabetes has just reversed itself. 
People with so many different chronic illnesses have found it just magically reversed after surgery. It's, it's like a miracle and a miracle I would like, honestly, you know, and also aside from my joint pain, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, these things run rampant in my family and I don't want to be next. These are the kind of things that I worry about. These are the kind of, these are the reasons why I want bariatric surgery so badly, you know? So I am going to be documenting my entire journey for you and I hope that you will like it. I know that some of you might be thinking about bariatric surgery. Some of you might have already done it. I am going to try my very best to give you useful content whatever i find helps me i'll talk to you about it and maybe it will help you and if you would like to see more about my journey my bariatric journey leading up to it the surgery day and after please just subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and i will be giving you more videos and i am excited about this journey and i am excited to invite you on this journey with me and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below so bye bye